I had a surprise when I went down to let the chickens out this morning. I got a shellless egg, or what I like to call a jelly egg. <laughs> um, I've just been reading up about this. We have had them before. And the most common cause of this is that the chicken is young. Um, yeah, and the systems haven't quite got used to uh, what they're doing. Now, it could be something else. Um our girl Eglantine did lay an egg the other day that had some of this membrane just sort of like attached to it on top of the egg. So it could be her that's laid this. With uh, Her body might just be having a bit of a thing. But it could also be that one of the new babies is laying. They are about laying age now. Um, but I didn't expect them to start laying until spring. Uh, so that's interesting. We'll see if we get any more. I, I've just put it in this bowl to show everyone I'm not going to eat it They do say it's safe to eat them But um, this was particularly dirty um, I've given it a little wash before I've shown you But there was poo, straw and feathers stuck to it <laughs> But I thought you might be interested to see Sometimes what chickens' bodies can do So bizarre I've just knocked these four little pumpkin progress mark keepers up Three of these are gifts they have sold out in my shop, um, but one one is going spare, so I'm just going to list it in there. Hello. Yeah. So if you were fancying one and you didn't get there before they sold out, quick, quick! I'm listing one. Run. <laughs> I was just just <clears throat> let me start that again. I, I, oh, now you're joining in, are you, Mrs. Chatterlock? People like you. Yes, they do. Are you being a furry purry? Can you hear her? You've had your breakfast, lady. You've had your breakfast. I've just realised that my nails don't match my knitting. <laughs> That's always a pleasure, isn't it? Yeah, I was just trying to decide because I'm about to put the heel line in and I was thinking, hmm, what will I use for my heels and toes? Now, this is the obvious choice. This is opal unicolour in the neon green colour. And I really like that because of that little pop. But I did put these in my this in my glow spook socks. And then I was just, uh, I was actually looking for a bit of, um, <coughs> just a bit of waste yarn in my scraps. And I found this mini, and I can't remember what I dyed it for. But I know it's a bit subtle for me. That's got a sparkle in it. But you see, there's these apricot bits in it. What do you think? I'm going to ask Mum, Wendy and Laura what they think as well. I actually quite like that. A bit different, isn't it? Hmm. What do you think, Bramble? Green or peach? You know, apricot even. I think apricot's better. I picked up my new boots yesterday. They look black in this light, but they're not. They are, oh yeah, you can see now, like a maroony colour. Oh. Anyway, I'm going to sort out the laces on them and get the horrid stickers off. Blech. I hate stickers. Uh, and then I'll show them on your feet.
just got back from my little trip, made myself a coffee. And I thought I'd sit down and show you what I got at the Derbyshire Craft Centre. You'll have seen the photographs, oh no, not the photographs, the video of the, the place, what it looked like and the windows, very pretty. And I treated myself to a couple of little Halloween things. The first was this for the tree. It's a glass cauldron and it's sparkly. <whistles> so pretty. That was six ninety nine. Although I'm tempted to put it in the window, but I'll try it on the tree. See how it goes. <coughs> I also found this for the tree, which is really cute. Like a black cat with a boo. That was one ninety nine. And then I saw this little chappy, and I couldn't resist him. Very cute indeed. go Woo. so I'm not sure where he's going to go yet I'll work it out it's got a lovely glaze on it like iron stone I think Wendy said it was like so that's my little haul and I uh, first thing this morning I put the heel line in my who you're gonna call sock so that's how long it is at the front now. And there's my heel line. So I put that in before I went and I did a few rows while we were there. So that's, uh, I've got halfway through a repeat. So I think I'll just finish that before I do anything else. Uh, and then I'll take you with me, depending on what we do this afternoon. Probably not a lot actually, because I've got a day out planned tomorrow, which I'm looking forward to. So probably just pottering around at home and having a bit of a chilled day really, hopefully. See you in a bit.